Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Notion finally gave me access to Notion Mail and in this video, I will walk you through the app. I got access to this app yesterday, so it will not be a full review, but an overview of all its feature. So let's get started, shall we? Let's start by discussing the main features of Notion Mail that I found most interesting, starting with keyboard navigation. I use Spark Mail as my primary email client and one thing I love about that app is keyboard navigation. I am happy that some of those keyboard shortcuts work in Notion Mail. For example, I can hit E to mark an email as done to archive it and hit R to initiate a reply. The rest of the shortcuts are a bit different but I am happy they exist. You can hit H to add a reminder, U to mark an email as unread, L to add a label and the delete key to delete the email. Another keyboard shortcut I like is the ability to select multiple emails using the shift plus up and down arrow keys. Notion Mail also has a built-in command bar feature that you can access using the command K keyboard shortcut. You can search for emails, change the settings, access snippets and do much more. I am happy that Notion Mail supports keyboard shortcuts as it makes triaging emails faster. Notion Mail also offers quick tool access with its hover feature. You can hover over an email to get a small preview of the email. On the right side, you get access to all the usual tools including the ability to star an email, mark it as read, archive it, delete it and so on. You might have noticed that when I click on an email in Notion Mail, it opens in the side peak mode. Since Notion doesn't have a column view, I prefer this view. But you also have the option to open the mail in center peak or full page view. To change the view, open settings and change the thread style to your preferred view style. One benefit of using side peak is that I can navigate between emails using the up and down arrow keys in this view. In the other two views, the arrow key will scroll the email. One quick tip to remember is that you can get out of any view using the escape key. If you have used any email, you know it's hard to create a filter. Notion Mail makes it easy with its auto-label feature. Instead of setting rules and filters, you can enter your criteria in natural language. Let's try creating one to understand this feature. Let's say I want a view that only contains emails from Notion. I will click the auto-label button and type a simple command like all emails from Notion. It will take a moment to search your emails and give you the emails that meet your search criteria. You can check and see if the emails fit your search and mark them as correct or incorrect. You can click the top to rename the label and decide whether you want to split them from inbox. I want to split them from inbox so I will keep the toggle on. I will assign it a different color and hit the save button to save the view. As you can see, all the emails from Notion have moved to the new view I created. Now, if you want, you can assign it a different icon to make it more differentiable. And that's how easy it is to create new filters and views with Notion Mail. Notion Mail also has a built-in snippet feature that you can use to save common replies you send frequently. One thing I love about Notion Mail snippet feature is that it's dynamic. It can auto-populate the sender name in your email so you don't have to type it manually. You can access this feature by going to Settings, Snippets. There are a couple of pre-built ones and you can create your own. Here I have added a generic email reply that should automatically insert the sender's first name. Let's reply to an email and see if it works. I will hit R to initiate a reply. To access your formatting tools and snippets, we will use the slash command as you use in Notion. Notice that as soon as I hit enter, it added the name automatically. The final mail feature I want to show is templates. Templates allow you to view your emails in different views. There are tons of templates that you can use based on your needs. I will show the priority template. This one lets you sort your emails based on priority. When you add this template, all the emails will be under the no status section. You can then drag and drop these emails into different sections based on priority. Similarly, there are templates for recruiting, sales, support and more. I don't have a use for these templates, but if you want me to cover them in more detail, let me know in the comments down below and I will make a video on them. Notion Mail is currently in beta and it has a big drawback right now. The issue is that I cannot add multiple accounts as each account has to be separately added to the waitlist and receive approval. That means 
I cannot add my other email accounts to Notion Mail right now, which makes this app less than useful to me for now. And that ends our first impression coverage of the Notion Mail app. You can click these video next to watch more videos from our channel. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more such content. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.